Only on CBS2 swindled in an insurance scam. A mid-city woman who bought health insurance online now is facing bankruptcy because she got a $30,000 hospital bill. CBS2's Christine Lazar shows us the policy she paid for was a fraud. A year and a half ago, Deanne Davis lost her job and her health insurance. The COBRA insurance that they extended was like $900 a month, so I had to search for my own policy. So she went online and searched for Covered California and called an 800 number. Davis was adamant that she wanted a PPO plan. She says she agreed to pay a little less than $400 a month and got her insurance card in the mail. Written clearly on the front were the letters PPO. I knew it wasn't a top-notch plan, but I didn't think that it was a no-coverage plan or that it wasn't real insurance. Everything seemed fine until Davis became gravely ill last month. She called the 800 number on the back of her insurance card and was shocked to learn an emergency room visit would only be covered if she was in an accident. You know, what is it that I was paying for then? You know, if it doesn't cover you when you get sick, what is it that you're paying for? When her fever spiked to 103 and her blood pressure plummeted, Davis's friends insisted she go to the ER anyway. When I couldn't sit up straight, I couldn't walk. The 46-year-old was admitted. And I just remember crying, wondering, do I leave because I don't know if I can afford this, or am I really sick and do I stay? Four and days later, Davis stabilized home and then the hospital called and they wanted to inform me that my insurance only covered $250 a day and that my bill was in the excess of $30,000 and they wanted to know how I was going to make arrangements to pay for it. The freelance advertising executive was stunned. <laughs> That's a huge amount of money. It kind of just takes your breath away. Jerry Flanagan with Consumer Watchdog, a national nonprofit, nonpartisan group, says Davis was sold what he calls junk insurance. Deanne was just uh, no, taken advantage of by a fraudulent company fishing on the internet for unknowing consumers who are looking for Covered California. Consumer Watchdog has found that when you Google Covered California, often the first couple of websites that pop up don't sell state-approved insurance. By selling this coverage as a PPO insurance plan, the company was committing fraud. Consumer Watchdog is considering filing a lawsuit against the company called U.S. Health Group out of Fort Worth, Texas. As for Deanne, because her old plan wasn't real insurance, she will have to pay a penalty when she files her taxes on top of that $30,000 hospital bill. In the Fairfax District, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS2 News. Consumer Watchdog says we could see more cases of junk insurance if the new administration allows insurance to be sold across state lines. Davis's insurance company did send us a statement saying what she had was supplemental insurance and that a customer service agent will be reaching out about her hospital bill.